Hallelujah. On the wings of grace, we have entered into the year 2023. Glory be to God. And I'm so excited that you made it through into this year. The devil lost the battle over you. He lost the battle over your family. Will you shout and give God praise in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. Our anchor scriptures for this year is taken from the book of Genesis chapter 9 and verse 27 from the contemporary English version. And it says, I pray God will give Japheth more and more land and let him take over the territory of Shem. May Canaan be his slave. In this year, the Lord God of heavens will increase you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will give to you more and more of the blessings that account for enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. In this year, 2023, the Lord will give you territories to take possession of in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you that in this year, those that have gone far ahead of you will suddenly look up and see you ahead of them in the mighty name of Jesus. As I prayed for God to reveal to me his mind concerning the year 2023, one of the things God said to me was that 2023 is going to be a year of relief and compensation. Hallelujah. A year of relief and compensation. And I pray that in this year 2023, the Lord will grant you relief from the pains of the past in the mighty name of Jesus. And may the Lord compensate you for the losses of past years in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you in this year of enlargement that your territory will not be small in the mighty name of Jesus. May God give unto you the strength that you need, the wisdom that you need to enlarge the place of your dwelling in the mighty name of Jesus. However, you should know that enlargement is not a thing that happens by accident. It is what is planned for. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 54 and verse 2, the Bible says, Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy sticks. This year, I want to encourage you, think big. Take actions that will land you in mega breakthroughs. If God is willing to give you enlargement, then you shouldn't settle for anything less. In this year, may the Lord fill you with wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, one of the things God said to me also is that wisdom is going to be on high display in the body of Christ. And that high profiting is going to come to the believers. I pray for you, may you be amongst those that will exhibit the wisdom of God in this year 2023 in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you, I bless your family, I bless the works of your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord cause you to enjoy good health in this year in the mighty name of Jesus. May you enjoy sound mind this year in the mighty name of Jesus. May you never be a prey to the traps of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. May the hand of the wicked not bear rule over you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will order your steps this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Because also that this year is going to have its own challenges, you need to be fortified for the journey into the year. I'm telling you, only those who are spiritually strong in this year 2023 will forge ahead. The weaklings, those who are weak spiritually, are going to be exploited in this year. And that's why I want to encourage you as a believer, Wherever the church you attend, I want you to stay committed to fellowship. Make sure that nothing takes you out of the place of fellowship. Ensure that you are consistent in the place of prayers. Ensure that you are consistent in the study of the word. Make sure that nothing takes you out of the presence of God. And on this wise, I would like to invite you to join us for the covenant services for the year 2023. The covenant services will run from Monday 9th of January to Sunday 15th of January and is going to run in this order. At 6 a.m. West African time, we'll be having the online covenant prayers and at 12 noon West African time, we'll be having the online covenant prayers and then in the evening at 5.30, we'll be gathering in the church 
for the cutting of the covenant. Remember that we do that at the beginning of every year to prepare us for the journey into the year. So Monday 9th, 6 a.m. and 12 noon West African time, it will be online covenant prayers. And then 5.30 in the evening, we will be meeting for the covenant cutting. Then on Monday, the 16th day of January 2023, we shall be having the first Destiny Encounter service in the year. And the thing is abundant increase. You don't want to miss that meeting. It's going to start at 4 p.m., 4 o'clock in the evening, West African time. And I encourage you to be there. As a matter of fact, please come in a bit earlier so that you can have some personal time of prayer with God. I know that this year is going to be a wonderful year for you. More so that God has declared it as the year of enlargement for us. I pray for you and I pray for the works of your hands that nothing will stop your enlargement from manifesting in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, I welcome you to the year 2023, our year of enlargement in the name of God the Father and of God the Son and of God the Holy Spirit. I will celebrate with you this year. I will rejoice with you this year. I still remain your pastor and your friend, Peter Balogu, the lead pastor of the Citizens Church for All Nations with headquarters in Abuja, Nigeria, and of course the convener of Destiny Encounter Services. The Lord bless you.